Well, Anya, it is again a pleasure to talk to you, and I first of all want to congratulate you on qualifying for the U.S. Open again. I know you've been there before, you've gone right through the four days, you know the drill, but congratulations, it's always a tough grind getting there. Yeah, it was, um, I definitely played my heart out on the second 18, because I didn't play well the first 18, and I knew that I had to play really well to mm -hmm. at least give myself a chance. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody else that we know that also made it? Um, yeah, Kelly Jack from uh, Big Break Ireland made it. Oh, from great. My, from my site. And then um, I know that Lily Alvarez made it as well. Oh, terrific. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, definitely going to be watching that. So good luck. Good luck. Okay, well, let's go on and talk about la this week's show, The Big Break Atlantis. And um, again, we started off with team play. I'm starting to get a little nervous about these team plays because they seem to end up where maybe not the best players are um, getting the best shot at being successful in them. And I'm just wondering, what were you thinking about when you were watching, or sorry, when you were in the competition? Do you like the team play aspect, or does that make you a little bit nervous? Um, I really don't like relying on other people to determine my fate. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would be the main thing is, you know, if someone hits a bad shot, it screws it up for the rest of the team. Mm -hmm. And I really, I don't like that aspect at all. No, no, and Aubrey certainly um, had her struggles in your team. Now, who decided on who was going to hit driver versus approach shot versus green? Um, we... We all made a mutual decision. We just said, okay, what are we feeling comfortable with right now? Mm. And Gloriana said she felt really good with her driver. Aubrey said she felt good with her irons. And um, I said I felt good with putting. <laughs> Strategy <laughs> really didn't work out. No, it didn't, given that Gloriana put it in the bunker, and then Aubrey struggled getting it to the green. Uh, you two put it, I believe, so actually, you know, you did your job. But, uh, man, <laughs> that must have been tough just standing there watching the disasters behind you. It, it was. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so, moving on, they did the game of Wolf. Now, that was really interesting and, you know, a little challenging for some of us watching it to figure out, okay, well, how does this actually work, and how do these point systems work? But figured it out. Um, you excelled and hit a tremendous shot when you went as lone wolf. Um, but you know, did you like the game itself? Did you feel again that you know you were in control or not? What did you feel about that game? I, I was so confused when we were uh, playing the game that I didn't even know what was going on. To be honest with you. <laughs> so I don't really have any strong opinions about it because I was just confused. Mm. I think we were too watching it. I had to go back and you know back up and watch the PPR a few times, thinking, "How did that happen? Like, where did those points come from?" So uh, yeah, sometimes they move very quickly through the show, and people watching it uh, can get easily confused if they can't go back and rewatch things. So I was wondering what it was like for you ladies out there. These new games being introduced, these new point systems, and you know, can you really be aware of what you're choosing to do, whether you go loan or not loan, you know, and strategize for your shot? Um, you went loan, it worked out, uh, but um, I expect some of the others were even more confused than you were. Pardon? I think some of the I, other ladies were more confused than, than we were in, in this competition. It just, you know, it's, it, it just seemed kind of odd. To me, anyway, yeah, I guess it was it was odd, and honestly, too, when we were you know stressed out during it, so you know, was, you know, Selene, she should have gone lone wolf, mm -mm. and I think though she was so stressed out during that situation that she didn't really know that that's what she needed to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did seem to be some changes in judgment after seeing what happened, but oh well, I mean that's the big break, right? Um, well, and they're also. There also seemed to be some interesting things given Kelly was having a bad day, uh, Aubrey was having a bad day, um, and people were really stressed. I mean, uh, Selene looked, you know, completely unnerved. And even when you went to do your drive, and you're so, such a great driver, you had your hand over your chest. It was like you were trying to calm yourself down. Was it a particularly stressful day that day versus some of the other days? 
Um, no, it just, I had two shots, and I really didn't want to have to hit another drive, and, um, it was just, I mean, it's always stressful, because I really did not want to go into elimination, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I was trying to avoid that as much as possible, I wanted to make sure that I was ready to hit my tee shot before I I did. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you've still got all those cameras on you, too. How much is it now, after a few days, you know, competing, are you aware of the cameras versus just being aware of not wanting to go into elimination? Are you guys getting used to all those people around? I mean, honestly, after the first day, I didn't even notice. I <laughs> really, I'm more concerned about making it into the next episode, not the cameras. Well, that's good. That'll keep you focused. That'll be good for U.S. Open. we got all those cameras out there watching you as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Aubrey and Sel- um, Selene were struggling, and um, although Selene really nailed some putts, um, you know, I think she three-putted in her first competition, and then she nailed some stuff later, so it was really up and down. Um, it seemed, you know, she backed off numerous times. Was it, like, did we miss something? Like, was there even more of that going on, and... And was the challenge longer than we actually saw on TV? You know, I don't really know. I can't remember how many times she backed off, Mm. to be honest with you. Mm. Um, I know that she was nervous, and I actually talked with her about it later. And what you can't really see on TV is that it was a downhill putt. Mm. And so it would have been really easy if your hands are shaking and you're nervous to just Mm -hmm. yank it. Mm-hmm. So, um, I know, I, I understood why she kept backing off because I probably would have been nervous too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, the, it definitely, uh, it's a scary place to be, you know, one shot makes it or breaks it for you. So right. you said that, you know, you talked to her and stuff and um, you, you said we couldn't see really that it was downhill. Was there anything else that we didn't see that happened that day, anything you can remember that you want to share with us? Um... Yes. I, um, the skirt that I was wearing during the wolf challenge actually popped open when I bent over to putt my last putt. Oh, no. And, and so I was standing over my putt. One of the girls from Safe City on the bench was like, Anya, your skirt's open. Oh, dear. And, and so I was about to putt, and then I realized that I my butt was hanging out. So <laughs> after that competition, they had to come and bring me a different skirt. And you'll notice that the ruffles on the bottom are a little bit different. Oh, well, now I'm going to go back and watch it again because I didn't notice it. So most of us would have been completely unaware of that happening. But, yeah, that would be uh, – <laughs> that wouldn't be fun. I once heard that um, – oh, what was the LPGA player who never won the U.S. Open? Um it wasn't Rosie. It was um, – oh, who was that? Anyway, what happened is uh, her zipper broke on her slacks. And in those days, you didn't wear shirts over top of your slacks. You wore them tucked in with a belt. And that was the standard. Yeah. She's been playing the U.S. Open, and her fly is broken. <laughs> and she – you know, how stressful can that be when she was in contention, coming right down to the wire? Um, you know, sort of the greatest uh, – player whoever played the LPGA. I can't remember her name. Anyway, it'll come to me. I'll add it to the post later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sad, too. Boy, see, it's a pretty uh, scary thing to happen. So make sure you have an extra skirt in your bag at the U.S. Open. <laughs> I, I'm going to. <laughs> yeah. So um, this has been terrific. I'm so glad that you are still with us here on the Big Break Atlantis. Anything you want to close with today before we sign off? Um, no, there's not much of anything. Okay. I'm, I think I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> After driving till 4 in the morning, I can understand why you're tired. So yes. we'll get some sleep <laughs> and, uh, you know, and practice hard, and we'll talk to you next week after the next show. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anya. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.